Are you ever scrolling on social media and see someone talk about optimizing hypertrophy and supporting their methods using data on strength gains? Or maybe they're talking about optimizing strength gains and using hypertrophy data to support their points. Honestly, I'm not here to say whether this is good or bad. I think you can strategically make some inferences between the two. That said, I encourage consumers of evidence-based fitness content to just take a step back and recognize that strength gains and hypertrophy just rarely align in the research. I'll start with some research that I've been a part of. The first is proximity to failure. We see a clear benefit of training closer to failure for hypertrophy with no clear benefit for strength. The next is training frequency. We see that there isn't much of a benefit to higher frequencies for hypertrophy, but there is for strength. Next is volume. This time, the opposite is true. The benefit of moderate to high volumes is clearer for hypertrophy than it is for strength. And now for some other great work that I think is worth looking at here. The first is load or rep range. This meta-analysis by Rafalo and colleagues reported no benefit to lower rep training for hypertrophy, but there was a benefit for strength gains. Another area to look at is periodization. This meta-analysis by Mosgard and colleagues reported a benefit to periodized training for strength gains, but not for hypertrophy. It's also interesting to consider some of the pro protein and energy intake research, such as this meta-analysis by Murphy and colleagues, which reported that energy deficits harmed lean mass, but it didn't harm strength gains. Hopefully all of this is helpful to keep in mind.